The bench press, it's hailed among men as the exercise in terms of overall strength. Now, but often you see a lot of people do bench press incorrectly. I mean, at many gyms across Australia and around the world, you have these bros, you know the ones, dressed in fluoro, having their hats sideways or backwards, wearing knee sleeves as accessories and belts as fashion accessories. Absolutely ridiculous. You don't want to bench press that way. In fact, you're probably at risk of injuring yourself and doing something very, very wrong and not making the gains that you want. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to bench press the right way and how to turn a bro into a pro. And we start by taking off this ridiculous mustache. So we're here at the bench, we've got our bro and I'm here to teach you how to do bench press the right way. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our, our bro on the bench actually benching. So, so let's have a look mate, it's time to get a pump, get your pump on, let's have a look at how our bro does a bro bench press. So here he is, feet up's on the bench, that's wrong for a number of reasons. Half reps, what is this half reps for? Scapula's not depressed or down. Elbows aren't really in alignment or a position. Let's get, the, let's get the weight back. So there's a few things that are going on here and a few things that we don't want to do. So first thing is we want to get his feet down and on the floor. Actually, even before that, let's get you sitting up, mate. Let's get you sitting up, bro, right? So have, have a look, plant your feet. Yeah, plant your feet, then, then get into the bench. Because what we want to do is we want to create an arc in our back. We want to depress our scaps down. We want to pull our scapula and our lats basically into our armpits, because that's what, what that's gonna do is once the lats are on and the lats are tight, it's gonna stabilize our shoulder. You can't fire a cannon out of a canoe. When the shoulder is stable, we're gonna be a lot stronger. It's also gonna allow for a, a more stable and a bench press, which is also gonna translate into more power output. So let's get into the, the form, putting your feet on the bench. All right, look at his nice arc in his, his chest there. That's really nice what he's got there. We don't really need that belt, but we'll address that in a, in a minute. What you want to be doing is you want to be pulling your hips into your armpits. So these two, this comes up, this comes down, creating a nice arc, pulling everything together. That's a beautiful setup right there, what he's got. He's a bit wide, but that's okay. We'll let the bro go wide so he can shorten the range of motion, which is fine. You can also use a biochromial bench press grip, which is a bit closer. That's that one there. But you know, this isn't necessarily wrong. It's just a different uh, hand of the bench. So I'm gonna help him out. I'm gonna give him a rack off. That's perfect there. He's in a nice good position. Now he's lowering with a good cadence and hitting the same position of his chest each and every single time. Other thing that you can look at is where his elbows are. His elbows are nice and aligned just behind. His elbows are aligned with his forearms and his forearms are just under his wrist, which is just perfect alignment and mechanics. They're really good reps. He's not going too fast on the way down. As he comes down, he wants to bring his chest up to the bar. So he's not just falling down, he's bringing his chest up to the bar. Not falling down, bringing his chest up to the bar. They're beautiful reps. That's fantastic what he's doing there. And then he's gonna rack it. That's a very good bench press. So, very good. This is how you turn a bro into a pro bench press. And you also wanna get rid of those half reps as well, because you want half the muscle, do half the reps. One thing you should also know about foot position on bench press, foot position is very dependent upon how flexible someone is. So if my bro just gets into position here, he's got some good flexibility through his upper back. He can just extend through his thoracic as well, quite well. But for a lot of people, this is just gonna be simply too much. So what you need to do is just figure out for you. So we're just gonna bring the feet forward, bring both feet forward. And for a lot of people, just simply, you know, uh, the tibia in line with the knees or a little bit behind. Again, the reason why you want to put it nice and far behind is it's going to create more tightness and extension through, or it's going to enable you to have more thoracic extension and get that nice tightness to bring the scapula down so you can really get as tight as you possibly can. Because the key to lifting big weights on a bench press is to get as tight as you can. So when you see powerlifters, for example, bringing their feet back, the reason why they're doing that is to accentuate their tightness. Now again, not everyone needs to do a powerlifting technique and powerlifting form because obviously not everyone is a powerlifter and some people again don't have that flexibility and, and movement and ability to get into that position. But if you can, get as tight as you can and use your feet, absolutely do. Another key point is to make sure you push your heels down and into the floor because that again is gonna flex up the quads and enable you to pull up through the upper back and get as tight as you possibly can. So the bro to pro transformation is almost complete, ladies and gentlemen, but we need to get rid of the belt. Belt should only be used during a set. Let's get a shirt on this guy. Wrist wraps are great, but they should only be used in sets. So let's get these wrist wraps off. 
I love weightlifting shoes, but let's lose the fluoro. Knee sleeves on a bench press, I mean really, let's get rid of those. And finally, we've got to do something about these blue, fluoro blue tights. So let's get those and some good shorts. Now this bro looks more like a pro. My name's Mark Atobri and I hope you have enjoyed this video with Liam and I, how do we turn bros into pros. Stay tuned for more in this series. If you need a hand with your training, nutrition or comp prep, reach out to us. It's info at enterprisefitness.com.au or check out our website at www.melbournepersonaltrainers.com. Of course, follow us on Instagram. Our handle is Enterprise Fitness Melbourne and on Facebook, like us there, Enterprise Fitness Australia. We have a very, very active YouTube account as well. If you want to get the early release of our hilarious videos, just like this one, subscribe to us there at Enterprise Fitness as well. Till next time, train hard, supplement smart, and eat well.